All right, welcome back on this Wednesday morning. I'm meteorologist Jacqueline Woodall. Halfway through a much warmer uh, work week. As we get into the weekend, that pattern is going to settle down a little. So no real extreme temperatures to speak of over the next uh, five to seven days. Of course, lots of weather to talk about, but at least enjoy a little bit of a warm up. Some of the developing stories that we're tracking, Ontario snow and lake effect. We'll hit on both of those and tell you how much you can expect. Frigid cold, cold will not last, as I just mentioned. And of all places, it's snowing in California. Hey, aren't we supposed to go there to warm up? We'll talk about that coming up too. If you thought that you, uh, you know, when you got home from work last night, there was a little bit slippery or maybe even your car um, had a bit of accretion, that is not frost, that is freezing rain likely that you saw, especially in areas like London, Ottawa also got some. Let's talk about this afternoon. We are gonna be looking at a little bit of lake effect snow, anywhere from about uh, maybe two to five centimeters, not a huge event. That's that trough, that convergence of winds that's going to bring a little bit of extra snow and then high pressure builds in behind it and it's a little bit chilly in uh, Ontario. You woke up to some chilly temperatures this morning. How long will that last? We'll have all those details this hour. Two to five centimeters from Wyerton, you can see, and then into Barrie. Uh, not so bad today. Afternoon highs about three on the plus side of things. It's been a bit of a roller coaster and that's going to continue really into the weekend. You'll be on the plus side of zero as well. Let's take a look at see and see how you're doing in the prairies. Much better. Look at this. No minus 30s, at least, although Laurent, you're getting pretty close. But uh, we are looking at a, a much better warm weekend for folks out west. It's going to be a lot more comfortable. Minus 13 for Swift Current, minus 6 for Lethbridge. Here's a seven day forecast for you in Winnipeg. Uh, we have lots of sunshine to bring to you. All right, it's nice to have you along on this Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Jacqueline Woodall. Here's a look at our current systems. High pressure, really a lack of systems out west. Here's a look at our current jet stream. So very cold air still in place, but not nearly as cold as what you've seen the last few days. A parade of systems lined up for the BC coast. We'll talk about that. And then this system bringing a little bit of lake effect snow and then lots of stuff going on in the east. We'll address all of what you can expect, including freezing rain, snow and straight rain. All right, let's go to the prairies. A few scattered flurries. Really, like I said, a lack of storms out west. This is what we call a trough, which is just an area where winds like to pile up and create clouds and sometimes rain or snow. Not a lot of snow in the forecast here. Here's this morning's wind chills, but you can say bye-bye to them. This is not going to be like this for the next four or five days. We see a lot warmer air settle in. Minus 29 still for Larange, though. Saskatoon still feeling like a cold minus 32. Thompson, yeah, there's a good, there you go. It's a little better. Minus 15s, minus 11s by next week with the wind chill. Let's go to Calgary. And boy, they look like they were having fun, but it was cold. You didn't need a cowboy hat. You needed a toque. You needed a toque, mitts, hats, a whole, or, uh, gloves, you know, everything. Uh, minus 11 for Grand Prairie, Alberta this morning. Minus 7 is your base temperature. You're back into a little bit chillier air, uh, Calgary. In fact, you're uh, down to about minus teens again. Just for today, though, it will be warming up. Your daytime high is somewhere around minus 4, so a lot more tolerable. Where we do see a lot warmer air, of course, is in the east. Three degrees for Toronto, three for Hamilton. The east coast has been like a roller coaster ride. You know, what, double digits again yesterday? These are these warm sectors, these part, these areas of our storms that move into a region and bring in a southerly flow of air. Not the case in Ontario. Kasia Vidurka has more. Thanks, Kasia. And you're right. It's about this southwesterly flow, westerly flow off the Great Lakes here on in Georgian Bay main players today. And that means Penetanguishene, Midland, all could see maybe five to ten most areas two to five centimeters watching as this clears out and high pressure replaces the squalls well welcome back on this wednesday can you believe it we're only about what 22 23 days away from the christmas holiday season and uh, boy it's felt like winter for a good month and a half already and remember the first day of winter is december 21st so let's take a look at our wintry uh look here at our current systems map it's very chilly still in the prairies but you are going to be warming up that's good news uh vancouver you've seen some chilly temperatures as of late and i uh i don't look so so comfortable on skates like those people, but I try and it's always fun to get out, especially at a public rink. Um, I used to live in Barrie, Ontario, had a lot of fun right in the town, the city center there, skating out on that rink on New Year's Eve, a lot of fun. I uh, highly recommend it. There is a look at the system through Barrie right now. We're talking about snow squalls for you and everything from snow to rain to potentially some freezing rain on the East Coast. Look at our temperatures this morning. It's chilly, definitely minus 18. You know what's really chilly too, but warming up? That's in Ontario. Kasia Badurka has more on that. And she will be back to tell us uh, just about the, the slight warm up that they've seen. A lot warmer than this for sure. But uh, let's take a look here at the temperatures this morning. 
It's uh, all in that purple color. That means chilly temps in the realm of minus 20 to 30 degree mark. But into the long range, it's going to be much more zonal. That's what we like to call that. So these minus 30s, you can say goodbye to that. Uh, all of this will push east into Manitoba next. But then the temperatures will look uh, a little bit more comfortable. So minus teens, minus single digits even, but not right now, not yet. Thompson, you're still in the minus 20s. A little bit of a trough right through the better part of the prairies, less than three centimeters of snow. The main story is high pressure. We talked about Barry just a few minutes ago, five to 10 centimeters possible for you, two to five centimeters for everywhere else. This is snow squalls through your Thursday. Welcome back. I'm Jacqueline. I always find it fascinating, as uh, Natalie was just talking about in that top five, you know, an otherwise clear day around the Great Lakes, it's not going to be that way. We have lake effect snow, and it all it takes is that wind over the warm water of the lakes, cold air aloft, and we have snow clouds. It could be rain if it's the, uh, you know, the springtime of year or even in the fall, which, uh, of course, we should remember we are in fall right now, but boy, we've seen a lot of snow. Ontario snow and lake effect will hit on that. Frigid cold will not last for the prairies. That's good news. It's been minus 30 and it's snowing in California. Is that true? It is. It took her two hours from Oakville. So let's talk a little bit about the lake effect setup today. So we see this trough. We see these winds, these arrows out of the southwest or even west. There you go. Model picking up on some of that snow. So it's not going to be a big event. High pressure replaces that. It's really just going to be probably a dusting or two to five centimeters. Temperatures certainly cold in Ontario the last few days, but it's warming. In fact, we'll be on the positive side of the zero degree mark. Let's show you Toronto where parkas, right? They really help. It's almost like just a necessity to have one of those now. Minus three with the wind chill in the afternoon is what it's going to feel like in Toronto. Plus three as your base temperature. Winds are same temperature for you. Warming in the prairies, as I mentioned, this is all going to be pushing east, uh, but we are looking at warming temperatures. So into the minus teens, minus double digits, but not the minus thirds. Uh, 30s on Thursday. Kind of blended those words there, didn't I? Winnipeg, lots of sunshine on tap for you. There you go. That's what I mean. Minus 8s, minus 9s, minus 12s, minus 6s. That's way better than what you've been seeing. Regina getting into a warm up for you as well. Let's take you to Calgary. How does this happen? Well, it's a lot like uh, areas like Denver, Colorado or Calgary, you know, into the into the higher elevations where we get a lot of moisture at the surface. We have that going on in a very drought stricken area, um, you know, major drought throughout California the last few months. All it takes is that moisture as it cools, as it goes higher in the atmosphere and the higher elevations, you get snow even in California. In fact, some people I know can drive an hour up and then they get into ski country. All right, we'll be back with much more, including the East Coast forecast. Stay with us, lots more on the way. West are going to be warming. We have a couple uh, scattered flurries in the forecast. That's just basically this dash red line. We call that a trough. So really not a big story. In fact, mostly just some cloud moving through central Saskatchewan, Winnipeg. By the way, Manitoba, you're still going to be some, seeing some very chilly air for the next maybe 48 hours, but then finally warming up for you. But not like this. Minus 32, you can say goodbye to that. Minus 23, you can say goodbye to that. You're going to be looking at wind chills in the minus double digits, but not nearly as cold. Even the BC coast has been a little bit cold. Uh, minus 5 in the interior in Abbotsford. Calgary feeling like minus 18 this morning. Uh, all bundled up. And you didn't need a cowboy hat. You needed a, a good solid toque. But, you know, when you went in Rome, right, you might as well wear a cowboy hat. All right. Three degrees for you in Toronto. Minus three with your wind chill. Minus five in London. A uh, little bit of snow. Southwesterly flow. Even just a due westerly flow off Lake Huron and Georgia Bay. Could kick up some squalls today. Could see five to ten centimeters. Kasia Badurka tells us about the Ontario story. All right, let's see here. Uh, we'll come, actually, we'll come right back with that. Let's take a look at that uh, trough that moves through Ontario. That's the lake effect. That's going to help trigger that lake effect snow. High pressure replacing that. Lots of sunshine, and that's good news. And now Kasha is ready for us. Let's here. We'll throw it to her. Read Kasha. You know where uh, it is also very mild is in Nova Scotia. We're seeing double digits, so tens, eleven, twelves again today. It's been a bit of a roller coaster ride. But here's the latest. We have a warm front that's going to sort of extend from, I'd say, plaster rock up through Bathurst, if you can imagine it positioned like that. 
big surge of warm air in this pocket of the storm. And that means moisture will be falling as rain. It's not cold enough to support a snowflake in that kind of environment. So it's going to be 20 to 30 millimeters of rain this time. Where we will see snow, though, is north of that warm front and also right to the uh, what we call the triple point of the storm. We're keeping a close eye uh, on that mixing line because we could see some freezing rain from maybe plaster rock up through Bathurst. And when I think of plaster rock, I think about the last time I, I storm chased with Mark Robinson on a nor'easter. We drove through plaster rock up to Miramichi and it was treacherous driving conditions. So I can't imagine uh, when you think about freezing rain. So be very careful. 30 to 40 millimeters, Stephenville in the western portions of Newfoundland. It'll be all straight rain for you. Could see 30 mil. And welcome back from our Weather Network headquarters in Oakville, Ontario. I'm meteorologist Jacqueline Woodall. Here are some of the top stories that we're working on for you on this Wednesday. Ontario snow plus some lake effect. We'll talk about both. Frigid temperatures will not last out in the prairies. Yeah, that's good news. Finally, a bit of a warm up. And it's snowing in California. Hmm. Really? Who knew? Yeah, we'll do that freezing mark where you can get some slick conditions. Our own Dana Batiste, meteorologist here at TWN, made her way home from Oakville to Thornhill. Should be about a 40-minute drive. Took her two hours. If you know the Highway 407, it was like a sheet of ice, she tells us. All right, today we're looking at snow squalls, so up the 400 and the 69 extension through Perry Sound, likely about uh, 5, maybe even 10 centimeters for some. Most of this, though, will just be a dusting. High pressure replaces that. There's a look at your snow map here, so not a big story by any stretch this afternoon temperatures on the rise a lot better than what we've seen the last few days in Ontario so you needed all of the winter accessories I don't know about you but I am famous for leaving my gloves in my purse and just going with bare hands I think why do I do this I don't live in California I live in can't oh right it is snowing in California okay we'll talk about that in a minute minus 10 in Saskatoon with the wind chill minus 17 so still chilly but not nearly as bad as what you've seen Thursday same kind of deal long range forecasts yeah much better minus fours minus five single digit uh, wind chills which is a lot more comfortable Regina still uh, warming up for you as well here's a look at our highlight map here so we have a couple things going on brisk mixing on the east coast we will be coming back to give you some love too because there's a big story there lots of moisture moving into california you would think hey you know how prepared would they be in an area like that that doesn't see a lot of snow so kids loving it of course perfectly timed as we get closer to the holiday season and a lot of rain for a very drought stricken area uh, california's been dealing with a drought for many many months so you know when it rains it pours and snows a lot all at once it seems to be the the uh, state of extreme. So there you go. That'll continue. That's one of our stories. Uh, let's talk about you in Atlanta, Canada. Most of your snow is going to be from, um, say, Bathurst and Edmonston, New Brunswick and North. But we could be watching a line of freezing rain. We'll talk about that coming up and when all of that wraps up as well. I just love that segment. If you want to see more around the world in 60 seconds, they're always on our website. You can get all our features actually on our website. I'm Jacqueline. It's nice to have you along midweek. It's a Wednesday. And here's the good news. As we get into the weekend, we're going to see a big warm up, especially for you out west. So watching a little bit of a trough, that's just an area of winds that create cloud and then maybe rain or snow, but really not a lot of moisture associated to it. We have high pressure in place and it's been Arctic high pressure, but that air mass is going to become a bit more modified. It's going start to warm up winds are going to shift around so you can say goodbye to these minus 30s which is great news you know and i applaud you for wearing your cowboy hats when you probably should have been wearing a toque because it's so cold but when in rome right all right minus 11 prince, prince george minus five for abbotsford still kind of chilly uh through the bc interior by the way bc you're getting ready for a parade of rainy systems it all starts tomorrow and then it'll go right through to your tuesday so enjoy your last day of really clear conditions in vancouver it'll be sunny take you to Ontario now three degrees this afternoon feeling though like minus three but a lot warmer than what you've seen as of late Kasia Paderka tells us more about the Ontario story that's right and by the way we uh, saw some rounds of freezing rain overnight just like we were forecasting so through London through Ottawa patchy freezing rain maybe you saw some in your area slick driving conditions well it won't be slick today but it will be snowy for some areas uh, like the 400 northbound two to five centimeters up through Perry Sound the extension of the uh, 69 highway same deal along 26 Georgian Bay could get dicey so take it slow give yourself some extra time this is the trough which is just a area where winds convert and that's going to kick up that chance of lake effect snow throughout today right around that shoreline of Huron and Georgian Bay. After that, we clear out nicely and warm up for the weekend. 
you want to know where it's really warm? Out east. And Nova Scotians enjoying uh, temperatures in the double digits, 11s, 12s for this time of year. Pretty nice. Uh, 20 to 30 millimeters of rain. Because our temperatures are so warm, we do have a storm uh, that's moving through, but it's just too warm to support a snowflake. So it's all going to be following as rain this time. Fredericton, St. John, 10 to 20 millimeters. And then anywhere from about Plaster Rock to Miramichi or maybe Bathurst, that's where we're seeing that dividing line between the warm air and the cold air. So that's where we could see some freezing rain. We'll keep a really close eye on the radar here at the Weather Network for you. And then up toward the north, 5 to 15 centimeters. So that's that dividing line between that cold air on the top side of the low and the warm air on the southern side of the low. Newfoundland, you can see some hefty rain amounts too, 30 to 40 millimeters for Recos. Tough. Yeah, we are tough, no question. You know who's tough too? Are people that live in the snow belts of Ontario because think about how much snow falls in one season if you live in areas like Barrie or Muskoka. Well, we're talking about it again, but today uh, it'll just be a light dusting, maybe maybe five, maybe 10 centimeters. But for those people, it is kind of a light dusting. They get 30, 40, 50 centimeters at a time. Frigid cold will not last in the prairies. That's great news, so expect to warm up. And it's also snowing in all, in all places, California. I'll talk about why that happens. Let's go to Oakville to Thornhill along the 407, which was like a sheet of ice. And many people saw that. London saw some uh, freezing drizzle. Ottawa saw some freezing rain. Here's a trough, which is basically just an area where our winds kind of like to pile up. We get uh, we get cloud in this fact. At this point, it's just going to do a little bit with our winds and kick up some lake effect snow today. Overnight, high pressure builds in behind it and temperatures are really on the rise. In fact, by the weekend, many will see threes, fours, but it hasn't been like that as of late. It? And then they come in handy. How about coats for your dog? Are you one of those people that puts a coat on your dog? I think they could be cute. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I got a sweater for Symphony, but I haven't put it on her yet. Five to 10 centimeters, Wyerton into Barry along uh, 69 at the extension of 400. Could be dicey with some bad driving because of that snow. Toronto, three degrees, feeling like minus three. The wind chill's much better than what we saw yesterday. And same for you out west. You've been seeing minus 30s. Well, we're going to be warming up. The flow is going to be a bit more zonal, what we call the jet stream, which se separates our cold air to the north and our warm air to the south. We're not going to have any big, huge dips. Looks like a lot of December might pan out like that. Minus 14 for Regina, Winnipeg minus 15, but you will start to warm up in the long range forecast as well. And hands down, one of my favorite segments here at TWN, Kim McDonald, Around the World in 60 Seconds. Developing stories, well, we'll talk about that in the next two and a half minutes. Ontario snow, lake effect machine going, not as bad as it could be, though. It's just maybe five to ten centimeters. Frigid cold will not last for you in the prairies. Great news, and it's snowing in California. <laughs> Very least, maybe you had sleet, slick driving conditions. Today, it's not going to be that kind of setup, although it will be in eastern Canada. We'll talk about that coming up. But it's it's going to be about snow squalls and about 5 to 10 centimeters in around areas like Midland, Penetanguishene, Barrie, maybe about 5 centimeters for you. No real big deal because you see a lot more than that. But just keep an eye on those roads out there and go slow. High pressure moving in to replace all of that. Here's a look at the snowfall map. So just kind of like what I said there, 3 degrees in Toronto, minus 3 with the wind chill today is that so grabbing the, the toque the scarf and getting all bundled up and then I keep my mitts or my gloves whatever I have in my purse all the time and I'm going to fill up gas and thinking why do I not have my mitts on don't follow my rule here minus 10 in Saskatoon minus 17 you certainly need your mitts there but it's going to be warming up so the minus 30s that you've seen you can say goodbye to that for a little while in fact I'll have a chance to speak to uh, Dr. Doug Gillum about the long range forecast coming up later today and we'll see what December shaping up like Regina minus 12 partly cloudy so still chilly but not nearly as cold uh, as as what you've seen uh, there's a look at your seven day forecast all right let's take you here just drive an hour north in elevation and then he's ski but then you're at the beach at the base of the mountain I just think that's really cool yep it happens in uh, in Canada as well in the BC coast of course you know same deal you can go up to Whistler and ski and then you can be on uh, the beach later that day here's the moisture we're watching through California uh, fair and cold today through the prairies brisk through Ontario mixing let's talk about this storm right here we have rain for Nova Scotia rain for Newfoundland but anywhere north of Plaster Rock New Brunswick um, east into say uh, Bathurst north of that's all going to be straight snow and you could easily get five to ten centimeters of snow before this storm departs breezy for your Thursday partly cloudy conditions and a few scattered flurries